On the set of axes provided, sketch the graph of f of x equals negative e to the power of negative x plus 1. Clearly label any axial intercepts with their coordinates and asymptotes with their equations. Now before we can talk about any transformations that have occurred to this graph, we need to change it so that the power is factorised. So we take that negative out as a common factor. And in doing so, we find that f of x can be expressed as negative e to the power of negative x minus 1. So now we can consider each part of this. And the first thing we're going to look at is the negative at the front. So that corresponds to a reflection over the x-axis. Next up is the negative in the power, and that causes a reflection over the f-axis, or what we would traditionally call the y-axis. Finally, the negative 1 corresponds to a translation of one unit in the positive x-direction. Now, because there's no translations in the positive or negative y-direction, or f-direction in this case, we have a horizontal asymptote that occurs here, and it is going to have the equation f equals 0. Next, we need to find any y-intercepts or x-intercepts. So the y-intercept occurs when x equals 0. So this will give us f of 0 is equal to negative e to the power of negative 0 plus 1. Therefore, we can simplify that down to be f of 0 is equal to negative e to the power of just 1, which is negative e. Next, we can find the x-intercepts of the graph if they exist, and that is going to occur when y is equal to 0 in our rule. So this will give us 0 is equal to negative e to the negative x plus 1. However, there's no power that we can raise e to that will give 0 as a result. So that means that there's no solution, which also means that there's no x-intercept. And that makes sense because we have an asymptote in that position. With all of that in mind, we can now sketch our graph. So a reflection over the x-axis and a reflection over the f-axis means that our graph will now be in this position. And before we found that the y-intercept or f-intercept here was at x equals 0 and y or f equals negative e. And because there's not a second axial intercept, it's good practice to put another position on. So we're going to consider the case where if x equals 1, what the y-value will be. So f of 1 is equal to negative e to the power of negative 1 plus 1. Therefore, f of 1 can be simplified down to negative e to the power of 0. And anything to the power of 0 is simply 1. Therefore, this point is 1 and y or f is negative 1. So that position on our graph is here at 1, negative 1. So that's the graph of f of x.